So in this video we have our four main course examples. In this first example here on the left, we notice that we have our expression that contains the variable is not isolated, so we have to do that first. So we always want to make sure we're isolating the expression that contains the variable. So we have 10 divided by 0.4, and with a little bit of work you can figure out that that is 25. So we have e to the 3x is equal to 25. And then, so now we have a problem just like our appetizer problems, where we, uh, where we uh, convert this to log form, because we notice that our exponent contains our variable. So we want to write that as log base e of 25 is equal to 3x. And if we want to get really fancy, we're going to write ln. Actually, I'll do that in a minute. And then... Um, we notice here that um, we still need to solve for a variable, so we have 3. We're going to divide both sides by 3. And then uh, we'll have log base e of 25 all over 3 is equal to x. So we're done. But again, writing it as log base e, you can leave it like that. It's totally fine. Or you can write it the fancy way of writing it as ln of 25 all over 3 is equal to x. And that's an easy one to type into the calculator. You can type that directly into the calculator. ln of 25 all over 3. And I should probably do that just so you know that you've got it right. ln of 25 divided by 3 is 1.073. So 1. Point, uh, let me write that up here. I'll write that in green. Uh, 1.073. That right there. So, yeah, you can verify that the ln of 25 over 3 is that. Okay, so on to the next problem. We have um, our expression that contains the variable is isolated, so we're going to just convert this to log form. So, log base 10 of 25 is equal to 3x over 4. And we, do we need that 10 right there? No, we don't need to write that 10 right there, but I'm going to leave it there anyway. Um, and so then we see we have to solve for a variable. So we have uh, we're going to multiply both sides by 4 thirds and so we get the 4's canceling and the 3's canceling and uh, so we get x by itself on the left hand side and we just get 4 thirds log base 10 of 25 and again if you want to be if you don't want to write as much, then you can just write it like that. So either one, totally fine. You can leave the 10 in, leave the 10 out. You just do have you do have to know that um, log of 25 is the same as log base 10 of 25. And we can uh, multiply that together too. So we have 4 thirds times log of 25, and we get 1.864. So that's, um, I'll write that in green as well. So 1.864 is equal to x. So you have to get the approximation for that. Okay, so problem number three. We have, um, I would urge you to try these last two problems by pausing the video and you can just fast forward me. Uh, we have the variable, the expression that contains the variable is not isolated. So we're going to go ahead and uh, isolate it by dividing both sides by 0.2. So on the left-hand side, let me get the blue here. So on the left-hand side, we have e to the 4x. On the right-hand side, we have 60. So it's 12 divided by 0.2. You can leave it like that as well if you want. Uh, but And then when you type it into the calculator, perhaps. Uh, or you could just, you know, on a separate note, 12 divided by, divided by 0.2, 2 tenths is 12 times 10 over 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times, and 6 times 10 is 60. So one way or the other, you can figure out what 12 divided by 0.2 is. And anyway, back to our problem here. We have e to the 4x equals 60. And so our, our expression that contains the variable is isolated. And uh, so we want to go ahead and rewrite this using log form. Log base e of 60 equals 4x. And so when we divide both sides by 4, we get uh, log base e of 60. So I'm going to write that now as ln. So ln of 60 over 4, let me get rid of that little thing there. 
ln of 60 over 4 is equal to x, and that's it. Again, you could type that into your calculator if you want. Okay, and then our last example, I try to keep these videos under 5 minutes, but here we're running over a little bit here. So um, uh, we're going to divide both sides by 5. So we have 10 to the negative 2x equals 16 over 5. And then we're going to convert this to log form. So we have log base 10 of 16 over 5 is equal to negative 2x. And therefore, when we divide both sides by uh, negative 2, we have log of 16 over 5 divided by negative 2. And that's the value for x. And that's it.